Hi, my name is Rachel Arnold. I am nine and a half, and I am four foot nine inches tall. My embarrassing story happened when I was turning seven. Uh, at my birthday party, I had all my friends and my grandparents. When it was time to open presents, my grandma pulled out this really big bag. I was so excited. It was filled with pink underpants. No one needs to know I wear pink undies, right? Why did you send in your old tapes? I can't believe this. I get you into <sighs> Battleboro and this is the thanks I get? I'm not even handicapped! Of course not. It's just a launching pad. You'll move up. How? Who won the blue ribbon at Miss Schneider's recital when she was eight years old? You threatened to hurt the other girls if I lost. So there were some casualties. I don't call it a battle for nothing, Jessie. If you want this badly as you say, then you have to turn up the heat. They put you in the retard class, you show them you're the best little retard they got. Now come on! We should be celebrating. You're going to the number one dance school in the country, right? Yes. See? That's my little girl. Best damn dancer at that school. You think? I know. And they'll know too. You got your mommy's jeans, right? I'm sorry, Jesse. I'm so sorry. For what? For everything. I'm sorry I pushed you so hard to be a dancer. I'm sorry I made you feel inadequate. You don't have to do it anymore. We can just leave, see? You lost your mind? No. It's quite the opposite. Look, I know I haven't been the same since Daddy left, but I'm back. Jesse! We're not going anywhere. You think I did this for you? To make you happy? Jesse, I think you're a little confused. You're the only one who's confused, Corinne. I'm doing this to make sure I don't turn into you. A nobody. Nothing to show for yourself but a couple of lousy kids. That's not true, Jess. I love you guys to death. Then pay attention. This is my chance to be something. You want to leave? That's fine. We're back to Queen and live with your mommy for all I care. But I'm not going anywhere. Not the day before my Sleeping Beauty audition. Not ever. Jesse, you don't get it. You're fat. You're not going to get this part. And it's fine. You don't have to be number one. There is only one failure in this family, and it's not me.